Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 4 of the Road to Rio and we need one more point in order to make our way to the next city which is Curitiba and the team we're trying to get that point with is the Netherlands. A lot of you guys suggested me to play with them in the last episode and keep on leaving comments down below for which teams you'd like me to play with for the next episode and I'll look through them once again and uh, pick out the teams that is either most thumbed up or most suggested and... Um, yeah, we are setting up the squad. I decided to get Elia in for the five star skills. I swapped Strobeman with Van der Vaart for the four star skills, and then I swapped Bruman with Vlad just to get a little bit more pace into the defense. And then we head on into the game, and we come up against Spain. And Spain is a bit of a powerhouse on the game. Got some really good players, but I get the first chance with Robin. I was I was trying to do a four star skill move, but I, then I realized. He only got 3 star skills and I really thought he had 4 star skills, I didn't even check his stats when I set up the team because I just thought he would have it. But unfortunately only 3 star skills on him, I couldn't really create that many chances with him as I hoped. But we go up 1-0 with a uh, Van Persie, a bit of a lucky goal but that was the scoreline at half time. Not too much stuff happening and we go into the second half, it's a Lee on the ball, a few skill moves here past 2 defenders. But his shooting is terrible on the game and it's more of a crush than a shot on target basically and it didn't really come to anything but Robin here with a few skill moves past two defenders. He tries out the shot and nice save from Casillas but we pick it up with Ilya, fling it back over ahead twice past the defender. Back into the box, but Robin could not hit the target, and in the end, the game ends at 1 to 0. And look at that shooting accuracy 20% for me, 25% for my opponent. None of us could really hit the target in this game, and I guess it's just down to us playing too much Ultimate Team and then jumping onto the World Cup game because the shooting is uh, for sure different. But nonetheless, we win the game and we get this cool transition that shows us that we made our way to Curitiba, and that means we'll be playing in a new stadium and we'll need to get, I believe, 9 or 10 points something like that in order to make our way to the next city which is Brasilia and the first team we're playing with in the Curitiba is the United States another team a lot of you guys wanted me to play with and we're playing in a 4-4-2 diamond white or 4-1-2-1-2 whatever you want to call it and um, um we are playing Eddie Johnson and Donovan on the top, then Dempsey on the center attack mid, he got 4 star skills, a long shot trade. I know Altidore is probably a player you'd see play at the World Cup, but he's just not my kind of player on the game. He, he's a good target man, good to win headers, but you can't really dribble with him that much, and I did not really think I'd get too much going with him. So I got Beasley in on the wing, he's quite fast, only 2 star skill moves on him, which isn't really the best, but we're playing him on the wing, and... Um, then we head on into our first game and we come up against Colombia and uh, it was a bit of a tough game because the decisions are yeah the way things just turned out in the game didn't really work out for me here we get a save and we almost pass it over our line he picks it back up again before we get a tackle in and could clear it away it was just a very chaotic start to the game but eventually we get a chance with Beasley and we try out the shot, but he will. is saved, unfortunately. 36 minutes. This is a clear offside, but it's a nice little cheeky back heel shot. I just wanted to show it because it looked pretty cool. But in the 40th minute, I tried to clear it away. And first time volley from Guerin. And what a goal that was. And unfortunately, Howard couldn't save it in the net. So he goes up 1-0. And I was trying to get back into the game. We find Jones here. We try out the shot, but it is wide. And at half time, he was leading 1 0. We had an equal amount of shots on target, and I had a few more shots in total, but yeah, I just couldn't find the target. That was pretty much the picture of the first games I played in this episode. But we get on the ball here with Beastly, pass the slide, tackle. And we hit the post. I just thought I'm never going to get a goal in this match. But 82nd minute, we take the shot, we get it over the line. And we are offside. It was just, it was just not going to get a goal. It's just on the edge of a side. It, it doesn't get much closer than that. But we just couldn't get the goal, unfortunately. But 83rd minute, get another chance. It's Donovan on the ball. He takes the shot. It goes out for a corner. I took one corner before this. Uh, it got went out for another corner, and that was pretty much the one I scored from to make it 1-1. Get me the equalizer, and then I thought, okay, okay, we'll get a draw. That's nice. But then Donovan. What an insane shot, it goes in off the top net, a little fake shot, outside foot shot, and it just fires into the far corner, and that was definitely a really nice goal from Donovan to win me the game in the, or not Donovan, Dempsey I mean, to win me the game in the 19th minute, and that means we get 3 points from our first game. 
and we make our way through Brasilia, so not too bad there. Uh, it took a while before I got the goals in the game, but eventually I would get them, win the game, and for the final game of this episode, we're playing with Sweden. A lot of you guys also suggested me to give Slatan a go, so that is what we're doing. We're playing with the 4 one 2 one 2 once again. And we're getting a few skillers into the side. I was just looking, I thought they might have one or two four-star skillers. But I got really surprised because Sweden actually got a lot of four-star skillers uh, in their lineup. Uh, we got Sana, we got, um, uh, I guess it's uh, Wilhelmsson, and then we got... Um, uh, then we got Duomas, so we got quite a few 4-star skillers actually, which is not too bad to create some chances. And I just decided to play them out on the wing and then play one of them on the striker spot and then have Larsen as the center attacking mid. And I think it was Kjellström I played on the defensive mid. So we go into the game, it's Wilhelmsson with the first chance, a few skill moves, he tries out the shot. We pick the ball up with Tobias Sana here, we turn around and somehow we get a penalty. Not too sure how, but we'll take it, and it's the main man, Slatan, to step up and make it 1-0. So we get an early lead to the game, and we continue on. Slatan once again on the ball with the skill move past three defenders, and nobody's going to stop him. He runs on through, and he'll make it 2-0, the second goal of the game. And Slatan is really unstoppable on the game as well. Very fun to play with. He gets another chance, flicks it back over the defender. But it is wide off the goal. Could have been a really nice hat-trick goal there. But at halftime, I was leading 2-0. But straight off the start of the second half, he wins a corner. And unfortunately, he will head it in to get it back into the game. 2-1 it is. But Slatan turning a defender, trying out the shot. But it is wide off the target. But 63rd minute, those lifted balls clearances just doesn't work that well on the game. And Slatan is going to take that advantage of that. Get on the ball and make it 3-1. Complete his hat trick, and that is how the game ends. A bit of a slot on show. Scored three goals and won me the game. And that means we get three more points, and that is going to be where we end off this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll be back again soon enough. I'm not too sure when, because as I said in the last video, I'm a little bit busy at the moment. But hopefully, we'll be back soon enough, and that is pretty much all. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.